Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining what is meant by height of a governor. So, let's get started. In order to explain it, I will first draw a line diagram of a governor. So here are the three different configurations of a governor. I have drawn a simple governor also called as the Watts governor over here. Now height of governor is basically defined as the vertical distance between the center of fly balls. These circular balls, these are called as the fly balls and these are the upper links and similarly we have the lower links and the top portion where the links are connected is called as the pivot. So basically height of governor is the vertical distance between the center of the fly balls and the point at which the upper links are getting intersected. So it means since they are intersecting in the first diagram at the pivot. So the height of governor is it is small denoted by small h that is from the center of the fly balls to the point at which the upper arms or the upper links are intersecting that vertical distance will give us the height of the governor it means the complete height is not the height of the governor but from the distance from the center of fly balls to the top point where the upper arms are getting intersected so that is the height of the governor and here i am explaining it in terms of the VAT, simple watts governor even in case of potter governor or proel governor the height can be calculated in the same way only in case of the hartnell governor the definition of height of governor will change so next in case of the second diagram since the upper links are connected at these two locations i'll say this is a and b so as per the definition of height of the governor it is the vertical distance between the center of fly ball and the intersection of arms but in this diagram the arms are not getting intersected so what we have to do just extend these arms along their line so that they get intersected at a particular point so now they are intersecting at this point so the distance from this point up to the center of the fly balls will indicate the height of the governor so for this second configuration this much is the height of the governor where the upper arms are getting intersected I have just extended them so that we get the intersection point from there up to the center of the fly ball indicates the height of governor. Next the last figure here the arms are getting intersected or the upper arms we have to see the intersection of the upper arms because height of governor won't be there or it is not there in the lower arms or the lower links. For that we have to take the upper links. Now 
in the third configuration we see this is one of the link and here is another link intersecting at this particular point so the vertical distance between the center of the fly ball and this particular point will be called as the height of the governor so height of governor would be required while solving the problems as well as for doing the further analysis in case of a governor so in short that was a video regarding the height of governor for three different configurations at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it among your family and friends thanks for watching